In the age of Donald Trump and rising authoritarianism, many have hailed French President Emmanuel Macron as the savior of the liberal order. Macron even declared himself the main opponent of Europe's nationalist populist. But is he really? Well, since assuming power, Macron has passed a massive and unpopular reconfiguration of France's labor laws by decree. Critics say this weakens collective bargaining rights and decreases workers' security. Macron simply dismissed the naysayers as slackers. His contempt for some of the inconveniences of French democracy extend beyond the workplace. In the aftermath of the horrific 2015 terror attack in Paris, strict state of emergency laws were implemented. Macron, however, has now incorporated these provisions into ordinary law. As a result, authorities have been gifted draconian powers to curb the rights of individuals suspected of having links to terrorist networks, all without any independent judicial oversight. The ombudsman, Jacques Toubon, the man in charge of defending civil liberties, warned these policies stigmatize Muslims and threaten social cohesion. Refugees haven't fared so well in Macron's France either. Yes, the occasional refugee has been fast-tracked to citizenship because they went viral scaling a building and saving a child, but most haven't been so lucky. Last August, Macron passed a law reducing the number of days one has to apply for asylum from 120 to 90. And asylum seekers whose applications are rejected can be deported before the asylum court has the chance to rule on their appeal. As for freedom of the press, Macron doesn't always support those seeking to hold power to account. In July, it was revealed that one of his bodyguards violently attacked two protesters while illegally disguised as a police officer. Macron attacked journalists reporting on the unfolding scandal, saying that France has a press that is no longer pursuing the truth, a media power that wants to become a judicial power. The remarker in Macron a swift rebuke from Human Rights Watch, who said his arguments were dangerous rhetoric while journalists around the world are coming under fire from populist leaders and other autocrats who wish to discredit or prevent all criticism of power. Perhaps the greatest lesson of the Macron presidency is that threats to liberal democracy do not always come from the political extremes. They can arise from the left, the right, and yes, the center.